in this video, we are going to create a Power Automate Cloudflow that will run based on a file name sent from a parent flow to the child flow. And then using that file name, we're going to run some specific actions that are based on that file name. So to get started, we do have a ba very basic flow that um, has a manual trigger. And I have created an input here called file name. And then our compose action is just the dynamic content, the input of our compose action is just the dynamic content of the file name. So the file name being file name from our trigger. So you can see there. Uh, now this is our child flow. So we need to set up our parent flow. That's going to send the file name, name of a file from that flow to this flow. And before we can do that, we want to set up a solution. And to do that, we go, we can actually do that. Um, let's first uh, save this flow. And then we're going to go back out here and over in the left navigation, we have solutions. So we go here and we create, if we don't already have a solutions folder that you're going to work with, you want to create a new one. So you would just click here for a new solution. And the name of this one is going to be called action testing. This is literally just where I'm going to be testing various actions that I need to put inside of a solutions. So then we select our publisher. If you don't already have one, you can add a new publisher and then click create. Now I've already created this. You can see it right here. So if I go into here, I've created my child flow. And I need to add that child flow to this solution. So if I go to cloud flows here and I click add existing automation cloud flow, and then click on outside dataverse, I can hop back to uh, power automate. Let me just open a new tab here. We go back to our flow and we copy the name of the flow to right here and paste it in search cloud flows. And then we can select here and add, excuse my voice on this video. I am just recovering from some illness. Now, once it does, if we go over here, we're going to see that it will um, be under the solution now. So it, it's, it already is under the solution. So that's great. Um, now we need to go and create our parent flow so I'm going to go new flow, instant cloud flow, and I'm going to give this name action testing because that's the name of my solution. Keep it all um, uniform. And we're going to call this random flow send wild name child flow. This is all just for testing. We're not going to put any of this stuff in production, but we're going to take the components of this and use it to update some of our production flows. So here we have a manual trigger and I'm going to add an action, search for the action, get file, see more. Get file content. Now I select my file. I select this Excel file. Now here I can save. And I'm going to grab the name of this flow. And I'm going to go back to my solutions. And I'm going to do add existing automation, cloud flow, search outside of dataverse. There it is. Now we add. Now once it's added here, we we'll refresh here. We can make sure it is um, already added to the solution. We'll see it on the right hand side under solutions and see it there. Now we can go um, back in here. 
and we can click add action and then run our child look here we select our flow it's going to be run child flow by file name and then the file name input will appear and then we go here and we only have this content of the files we're actually going to change this we're going to do this we're going to use get file content And now we're actually going to create five. We choose our site address and our folder path. Put this in our test documents folder. The file name is going to be in my name, and I'll just put the, the day's date in here. So this is going to be get to the UTC now. And then the content is going to be file content of our get file content using path. Now in the file name input, we can put the name, the, set, the name of the file or folder of the create file action. And now we've done that, let's save. Now, or we can fully save this. It's saved into a draft. We have to um, have our child flow end with a response action. So to do that, we actually need to go back to our child flow. And here, and then edit, and I'm just going to do a parallel branch, respond to it, and then I'm going to look for respond to a power amp or flow. We don't need to add it outputs. We say this and publish. Now, one more thing we need to do is change this to run only users. So we edit here on the parent flow. Use this connection to this specific um, user. It's not going to let us do that, I think, because this is not a published flow yet. Okay, now we can publish it. Now that that's published, I know we can run a test, manual test. Then to continue and run flow. Boom. And how that flow ran successfully. We're going to go into our child flow. And we can see that that one ran successfully as well, just a few seconds ago. We click into here to take a look at the um, that variable that was passed, which is the file name. And there's the file name right there. That's going to do it for this video. But this is going to lead us into future flows that we're going to build upon here. So I hope that you found this useful. Forgive my choppy voice today. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.